Hi, I'm Jennifer Von Stein, the resident artist for Chroma, and today I'm going to talk to you about the many uses of the Atelier Binder Medium. The binder medium is an acrylic emulsion, and it's milky in color, but it does dry clear. You can kind of think of it almost like a gesso in one way, because its primary reason to be is to seal your surface prior to painting. I like to use the binder when I'm painting on a canvas panel like this, so that way I can seal the surface, prevent the loss of moisture through the surface, as well as give my paint something to adhere to. So the binder goes on nice and smooth. Now, another thing that you can use the binder medium for is you can add it directly to your interactive paint to make interactive act more like a conventional acrylic, one that's going to dry hard and fast, one that you will not be able to reopen. I like to do this add binder to my paint a lot of times when I am putting down those first layer or so of paint onto my surface, things that I know I want to overpaint. So that's what I'm going to do here with some of my really in magenta. Just put some down. There we go. And of course, if I used interactive on its own, I would have the ability to rehydrate it simply by using my water sprayer. I'd be able to reopen my paint if I wanted to, so I could do some wet and wet blending. But in a situation like this, I want my Brilliant Magenta to stay put. And now I'll do the same thing. And I will pick up some of my cobalt turquoise light here and put some in here. And this will work as a way to lock in this layer and seal it. Another approach I could do with the binder is that I could use it to actually seal these layers of paint. I could create my surface and once it was touched dry, I could just put some binder on top and just seal it. And that way it would lock in all those under layers, leaving me free to overpaint as I wanted on top. Now, because the binder is an acrylic emulsion, it also creates an excellent glue for collage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry my surface real quick, and then I'm going to show you how I can use the binder as a glue for collage, and then I'm going to show you how I can actually just use my unlocking formula and my water sprayer to reopen some touch dry layers and remove and reveal some of those collaged elements. All right, I've dried my surface, and if I had just waited about five or ten minutes, this already would have been dry, but I just want to show you how quickly this process can move. So now I'm going to collage some elements down, and I just have some paper that I cut from the newspaper today, and what I'm going to do is simply apply some medium to the back side of my paper and just put it on and now I'm going to apply some binder on the top. What this is going to do is this is going to serve as a top coat, as an isolation coat. It's going to seal this and that way when I want to put more interactive on top of it, I'll actually be able to reopen some of those top layers and this will be nice and clean. I'll do it for this other side as well. I can even put some binder directly onto the surface if I want. And put some more paper down. I can work out any bubbles that I see. And just glue all this. This whole idea of collaging some papers and using the binder medium as a way to seal them and then using interactive on top is a wonderful way to kind of create a textured surface to paint on. And then if you want to, you can do some reveal techniques. Okay. I would next let this dry and then I would be put and use my paint to create some more, you know, interesting surface design and texture on top. And I've done that already. I'll take this painting out. And this painting now has been uh, drying for about, I'd say about 45 minutes to an hour, so it's dry. At this point, I could either just leave my painting go, but I want to show you how I can actually reveal some of my underlayers. So I'm going to use some unlocking formula. Now for the first few hours of a painting session, you can just use water, but if water doesn't reopen your paint anymore and you want to make it wet again, that's when you'd use the unlocking formula. So I'm just going to spray some on. And now I'm just going to use a rag and go 
get to another clean spot. Go. Do it again. Put a lot of paint on here, more than I thought. There we go. And now you can see not only some of the, the text that I put underneath, get that nice and clean, but if I decided to work over in this area, I can also get down to some of that pink underlayer that I, I sealed with the binder medium and some of the paint. There we go. And this is paint that's been dry. Absolutely amazing. So by using the binder medium as a way to seal your surface, as a way to seal paint layers, and as a glue for collage elements, you can really add a lot of excitement and textural interest to your paintings. So I would encourage you to try that. For more information on the binder medium or on using interactive, please visit our website, which is www.chromaonline.com. <laughs>